Hey everyone, it's Paige. We're back with a YouTube video today. I'm at Grand Dunes Golf Club in Myrtle Beach, and I'm gonna show you when you should work the ball or how to hit different shots when you're on the golf course. Um, I did a video how to work it like left to right, right to left, low, high, but when do you actually use those shots? So we're just gonna play two holes and I'm gonna show you when to do it and when not to do it. So we're on hole number one relatively wide fairway but there is OB left and there's water right and since it's the first tee as well you might have some of those nerves. I always say you need a shot that you feel really comfortable with. So this comes down to working the ball. What's a shot for you that you know you can rely on no matter what? For me it's a little bit of a knockdown uh, cut shot so that's the shot I'm going to hit. To hit kind of a more controlled shot I choke down just slightly don't really change too much with my stance because I, I don't want to knock it down too low. I just want to have more control over it. It's not like a tiger stinger shot. It's more just kind of a more controlled shot. So I choke down just slightly. Not as big on the back swing as I would normally go. And then it's kind of a sawed off follow through and I hold the face open so I get that cut. I don't want to hit a draw on this hole um, just because even though this is probably a draw hole, let's just say I'm really nervous first tee shot of the day I might be in a tournament and I want to know that no matter what it's not going left so I can aim up the left side and just hit my nice little controlled uh, fade perfect so I did exactly what I wanted to do I felt really confident and if I have a tee shot that feels a little narrow or I'm nervous or uncomfortable, this is always my go-to shot. So I think it's really important for you guys to spend some time on the range to find what your swing B is. The swing A is when you're full swing, feeling good, whatever. Swing B is when you're not feeling good, those days you're a little off, you're a little nervous. Always have that swing that you know you can rely on no matter what. I have 162, 140 carry. Um, it's downwind. I have a good lie, but there's a big bunker in front of the green. One thing that's really important when it comes to working the ball on the golf course is don't force anything just because you feel like that's what you need to do. Um, I am a real visual player, and so usually when I get up to a shot, I know right away what feels comfortable to me and what way I want to work it or what fits my eye best. And that might be very different than what you see. So the advice that I'm giving, you know that you can always tailor it to you and when you get out there, these are just kind of some tips to help you visualize and see the shot you wanna hit. One thing I do is I look at the lie first. Sometimes if you have a bad lie, it's going to determine the shot you can hit and you might not be able to work the ball the way you want to. Another thing is if it's on a downhill, uphill, you're in the rough, um, also, different variables like wind direction, if the wind is going really hard right to left, obviously you're, you're going to actually want to work it into the wind. You don't want to ever let it ride the wind unless you're playing for that, but just always be aware of your surroundings and what the wind's doing as well. So this one is downwind, usually for downwind it knocks your ball down slightly. So. You want to get it up in the air and that's how it's going to carry more but know that if you hit it a little bit higher it's the wind's going to take it more than if you are a low ball hitter wind's not really going to affect it as much when it's into the wind or even actually downwind too same with into the wind if you're hitting it high it's going to affect it more so you need to know all this stuff before you kind of choose a shot you want to hit and i always try to work it in almost like the opposite direction so if the wind is going right to left you want to work it into the wind um, opposite way and then if it's downwind I tend to want to hit it higher if it's into the wind I want to hit it lower and so you also want to look where the what's going on around the green if there's a huge bunker in front of the green you don't want to hit it low because you're gonna hit it right into the bunker you want to hit something higher to get it over also if there's something left or right you want to make sure if you are working in a certain direction and you do double cross yourself that you're not hitting it into the water. I also like shot shaping because it gets me focused in on what I need to do. I feel like sometimes if I'm just trying to hit just like a good shot my expectations are just so low and I don't have a clear direction 
of the shot I want to hit in my mind. And so this really helps me kind of think through all these things and see a clear picture. And so I know right away, instead of just hitting a shot up there, I know I'm, I want to hit a high fade. And so that's all I'm picturing in my mind right now is high fade, high fade, high fade. And I try to feel it in my body too. This is where repetition on the range comes into play. If you hit a ton of these shots on the range, you can almost just feel it in your body and you know exactly what you need to do. So I know I need to open my face a little bit, stand a little bit closer, and stay back slightly because that's how I hit a high fade. Even if you maybe don't feel confident hitting a high fade, maybe just even like controlling the, the flight of it is something that's great. You can tailor this to your skill level as well. So um, I've talked about a high fade, now let's hit one. So I did exactly what I wanted to do, hit that high fade. Um, you can always tell that I pulled it off too because the divot went left, which is an indication that I um, came a little more across it with the open club face and uh, that was a shot I wanted to hit. If you ever feel like you're unsure about the shot, always check your divot. A divot is really telling to the shot that you hit. Um, obviously, if the divot is going um, in, so, you can see my divot where the flag is and my divot is here straight my divot was left which means I came over it and hit my cut if it was going in this direction you know I came from the inside obviously you can tell thickness as well if you hit it fat it's obviously gonna be deeper if you hit it thin there's gonna be probably no divot um, so if you're ever unsure just always check your divot and that really tells you what you need to be doing or what you are doing so actually I want to talk about a short game too because I feel like visualization and feeling and hitting shots is most important when it comes to short game. So I think a lot of people, they don't have a clear picture in their mind of the shot they want to hit. And the reason I love short game so much is because there's no right or wrong way to hit a certain shot. It's just what you see. And that's great because it gives you so many options, but I think that can also be really scary for people because they have what like a very straightforward chip shot here and they don't know what their options are or like what to do in this situation because there's so many things you can do. And I think it goes back to again practice. You do need to spend some time practicing and knowing like what works best for you. Maybe you like more of a bump and run. I always like to hit a 54 and that's my go-to. And so no matter what, I tend to always hit a 54 unless it's a specialty shot. And this is where I was talking about like creativity. So I go through the whole thing that I kind of do when I'm on um, hitting full shots. I first kind of assess my lie. How does my lie look? Where's the wind going? How fast are the greens rolling? Where's the pin? Then what shot do I want to hit? How am I feeling that day? And I normally like to hit just a basic chip shot, but I want it to roll a little bit more. And so each shot that I hit, especially with short game, I never hit just a basic chip shot. I never just kind of do the same thing. I'm always trying to kind of work a shot or shape a shot or hit a certain type of shot. And again, that really helps me focus in on what I need to be doing instead of just hitting a shot to hit a shot. I have a clear idea in my head of what I need to do. And so after I kind of look from this angle, I'll walk up and I'll pick the spot that I want to pick. And that's going to depend on the shot I'm hitting. So it could change. If I was, say, if I was hitting a bump and run, I would land it like right here. If I want to hit a higher shot, obviously I'm going to land it a little bit farther down or closer to the pin. But for me, right away, the first thing I thought was hitting kind of a low um, shot within right here, which is right above the hill. So it's going to hit the hill, bounce a couple times, and then roll down. It's pretty much the same technique as a basic chip shot, but what I do is I, I kind of work my hands. And I'll link a chipping video below where I talk more about that. But basically what I want to do is almost hit like a baby draw where I come underneath it and kind of turn it over. That's going to knock it down and get a little bit of roll. But since I have a, um, a lofted club, it's not going to roll crazy amount to say like if I was chipping with a 9 or a 7 iron. You take about two practice swings to really feel the shot that I want to hit. And then I step up, trust it, and then hit it.
cool. So I executed the shot that I wanted. It didn't take the bounce that I was expecting. It kind of kicked a little bit um, to the left first and then uh, just kind of stayed there. I expected it to come down to the right, but it was still a really good shot. And that just comes with some confidence of knowing that like, one, I've practiced that so many times, I know I have it, but I was committed to the shot and I had confidence. And that's like the most important thing when it comes to working shots is like knowing that the shot you're hitting is the right shot and knowing you can pull it off and not second guessing yourself. Working shots is really great too when you're in trouble. So if you're behind a tree, under a tree, or just in any situation, that's where you come to like really work it around. And so never be afraid to, on the range to hit really dramatic shots. So you're hitting a huge hook or a big slice so you know how to hit those shots under pressure. We're on a par three now, and it's a little bit into the wind, 165. Pin is right in the middle. And um, so I went up the club, obviously, because I want to hit a little bit easier and knock it down. I want to talk about how to practice working shots that if you're by yourself or playing late nine holes, the best thing to do is take clubs that you wouldn't normally hit and that's the best practice on how to work shots so uh, for this don't just take the club that you think you should play grab maybe like a th even a three wood or um, it really could be any club in your bag and that forces you to have some creativity and to work different shots and to see a golf course in a way that you've never seen it before uh, you can always play with only four clubs in your bag that day so you could pick like a driver um, hybrid five iron and a wedge or a putter or whatever it could be pick any four clubs and those are the only four clubs you can play it also gives you a lot of touch as well um, where you have to finesse shots in and you have to really work it and you have to be creative and I think a lot of creativity is lacking for a lot of people on the golf course because they just see a pin out there and they just want to hit it straight and that's not always the best way to do it I'm gonna just hit a basic shot here when you just have a pin that's in the center pick a shot that is your natural shot shape um, that's what I do so I tend to draw it slightly and I do want to draw this a little bit more since I want to hit a little bit farther so I don't try anything really silly here or try to be too cute with it I basically just hit a shot that I can pull off and I feel comfortable with and that's just a draw for me It didn't end up drawing, but I actually pulled off the shot that I wanted to hit, and that was what I wanted to do. Another great thing about working shots is you're being smart about your placement, and so sometimes if you are planning to hit a straight shot and you miss it one way or the other way, there's things that could go wrong. So if you actually play for a safe spot that maybe is the larger part and you like work it a certain way, you're fine if you miss it a little bit left. Like, you're really in no trouble at all. So be really smart about like where you're placing it, where you're working it, and what the shot and the, the hole is setting up as. We talked about being creative with your driver, your iron shots, short game, but you can also be creative with your putting as well. Obviously you're not gonna try to hit different shots, but you can really mess around with your speed and your line. I've played a lot of pro-ams where it's a scramble and a guy will hit a putt and they'll be like, oh, it's a ball out. But that's not the same for everyone and we all see putts a little bit differently and obviously if you have more speed you have to play less break and if you like to diet in so mess around with that i think that's a really great way to get some touch with your putting as well not as much with like longer putts but especially with shorter putts so i'll hit that one up and so i can show you um kind of what i'm talking about you can do this on the practice screen i would recommend that just so you're not holding people up but when you're out here just or when you're practicing your putting try to maybe die a putt in okay and then maybe try to hit it a little bit more firm <laughs> maybe try not to miss the hole i think that's a really good one too but you're just getting used to like hitting it harder, hitting it softer, 
um, seeing how it breaks a little bit differently. This is just giving you more knowledge on when you're out on a golf course. It really is just like working on different shots, seeing the golf course in different ways and having some creativity. When you go on a golf course, have fun with it. Try to see different shots, try to do different things and don't just stick to the same thing that you always do. Like let's have fun with it. Let's do something a little bit different. So I really hope you enjoyed this video today. Uh, this is something I actually love to do. I love to work different shots. It's something that is so much fun for me and so I hope you guys have fun with it too. Don't forget to leave a comment down below on what your favorite shot to hit is. Uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next Thursday.